Thank this you. This morning, the nation's drought battle is taking a severe toll on the price of beef in Texas. Anna Werner shows us the fallout for shoppers, ranchers, and restaurants. Ribs, jalapeno, like turkey. At the feed store barbecue joint in South Lake, Texas, they go through 3,000 pounds of beef a week. Are you getting something to go? Meaning higher prices for top cuts are biting into Mike LeFevre's bottom line. Once it was a cheap cut of beef, you know, but uh, now increasingly it's a more expensive cut of beef and uh, getting more expensive. Beef prices are now at record levels, $5.04 a pound on average, up 6% from last year and 11% since 2012. My margins get cut a little bit and then we have to start watching about cutting people's times and watching our other expenditures. The cause of the skyrocketing costs is the extreme drought, which has impacted feed supplies and limited the number of available cattle. While consumer appetites for red meat remain steady, beef production is down 8.6% so far this year. We're not looking at something we can change overnight. This is going to be a two or three year deal once things get back on their feet and we've got those aquifers filled back up and we're starting to get some more rain. <laughs> At this Texas auction, 550 prime steers sold for top dollar. If you like meat, you're going to buy it. At the price, I know it's high. You know, it's just like gasoline. Sometimes it goes up, sometimes it goes down. Well, this is our time when it's good. Beef makes up 60% of LeFevre's sales. And with prices expected to increase through this year, customers could pay more for their barbecue. Instead of eating, you know, a steak once a week or so forth, maybe we're doing it every once every two or three weeks. I think it's pretty much going to be here to stay for a while. I mean, they're just not producing cattle fast enough. It takes too long to breed, grow, get to market. Little consolation to consumers who may find themselves saying beef is no longer what's for dinner. For CBS This Morning, Anna Werner, Dallas.